Welcome to LTBS TV. I'm Sports out here, and today we got a great game. It's the Lawrence Cardinals versus the Steinhardt Spartans in girls and boys varsity swimming. is underway here we begin all right Lawrence takes an early lead but Steinhardt's trying to come back Lawrence in the lead Lawrence with a fantastic turn Steinhardt however is trying to come back as I've heard Steinhardt is doing really well and Lawrence Neck and neck for second, for first place. Steinhardt a little far behind. And Lawrence is dominating here. And they're doing really well. Steinhardt, well to catch up. I don't, I do believe Steinhardt is in uh, that place. Steinhardt is in that. Goo is, Goo leading. As is Pollock. Pollock. Pollock is also leading. Probably gonna get first. In first is Goo. First and Goo gonna switch to a French Francini. And Burn going in for lane three. Rob, uh, starting our hard to go though. For first in Steinhardt is in lane three. Is Bradley now about to enter? As Lawrence taking a difficult time to come back. I'm liking the way how everything is already. Uh, Lawrence, you know, really dominating with the lead right here. Uh, really dominating here. Sixth and fourth, six in the fourth lane are really, really killing it out there. I have to say, I, I'm liking the way they're swimming. They're swimming really quickly, fast, trying to break any records today. Maybe break your own personal record. Wouldn't be a lot of fun. And and in first, in first place is lane four. Which is Simpson, Goo, Francini, and Ascoli. In second is lane two. Lane two, second. The winner for second two is Slutsky. In third. In, in third, looks like it's, Ra it's also Lawrence. So Lawrence takes the top three spots. In third, lane six, Little. In fourth, Robbinsville. Excuse me, Robbinsville. Robbinsville did beat the girls, and however, they did win against Hamilton West. So, very, fairly well job done by these girls. In fourth, Steiner. Lane three, Brown. In fifth. Mastropolis, and in and in sixth, uh, Send Sendeno. Now onto the boys. The next event is the boys 200 heavy relay swimming four Steiner in lane three Oliver Sun Borgo and Agagian in lane five Hill Bo and Calvin. In lane one, Schultz, McGuire, Kim, and Hall. 
swimming for Lawrence in lane four. Sue Koch, Briggs, Morris, and Jorgensen in lane two. Zolf, Dower, Wild, and O'Rourke in lane six. Sipko, Goo, Morris, and Millizar. Boys side of things. As I've heard, as I've heard, the boys in side are doing well. Already, things are getting comp competitive in lane three and four. Those are the top racers, top swimmers. They're doing the best so far. Really tight between them two. In the lead early is Sukac, but right behind him. Is Lamato uh, is Hill and now Briggs with the lead. Joey Briggs in the lead. Lamato, however, just right behind him. Things are quite getting kind of heated there. I think Lamato has a good chance of taking second place. No, and no timer on. I'm, I'm not sure why that's the scenario, but oh well. And now entering for lane three and four is not Narton, Norton, Norton, and Morris. Morris, absolutely dominating. Morris and Morton. Mor Morris is dominating. Morin, uh, too slow to catch up. But that's all right. These boys are gonna try whatever they can. They're gonna try going fast. They're gonna try going heavy. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna try swimming as fast as they can. That's how they'll do it. They'll swim as fast as possible. They need to go and be amazing at this. And more. And Jorgensen takes probably first. Jorgensen takes first. In second is is Calmalo. In third is O'Rook. In fourth is McGettington. Excuse me. McGettington second. Uh, Second place. Col Colum Hall, fourth. Fifth. Fifth is Colmilia. Colomia. And sixth is Milozar. Very well job done by these men. I think that I know that this will be a really entertaining race. This is only the start of what looks to be a great race. The next event is the girls 200 freeze for time in lane five. Drews in Arsenal in lane one. Krajovic in four for Laura and Sprint Amy in lane two. Thor in lane six. K1. taking an early lead, which is Lawrence Franschini, Franschini already taking an early lead. And what a good turn that was by Franschini. In second, looks like it's, in second is, is Thornton. In third for Steiner is Borenson. Warsaw, Warsaw. 
I'm just liking the way Franschini is just dominating her, her the dominate he's just dominating. Though Barson Barson can definitely definitely get some improvement. I mean it's still early. You you need to win earlier, you need to win the other races later. This is kinda like the intro of how the race is supposed to go. So there's a chance that they can win these races. However, it's very hard to get back the lead once you lost it. Franschini doing an excellent job of dominating the lead. However, Steinart trying to come back. Forsum just trying to put in her A effort in. And that's all that counts. A for effort, just break some records, do some good job, and do some really good work. For the boys, the score is eight to six, and the girls dominating by 10 points. And Franschini just about to finish her side of the race. The girls with a 10 point lead, probably going to add to, extend their lead to more. And I'm just liking the way that I'm loving how they're running, how they're swimming with good pace, not too fast, not too slow, good enough. And to get the first place is Franschini. To get the second place looks to be Lawrence. That is, that's Thornton to get second. In third. In third, it looks like that will be Borson. Bearsom. In fourth is Calibin. Kelly Bean. An excellent job by Steiner. They, they really put their effort in. I mean, everyone puts his effort in, but sometimes people just do a better job than others. And sometimes that's okay. No one's perfect. Nobody can be perfect at these sort of jobs. And f finishing up is finishing up is Farrell. Finishing up is fair is is Craig Sims, Craig Sonet, Sonvix, and Andrews. The next event is the boys 200 free swimming for Steiner in lane five. Gunfi in lane three. Shin in lane one. Gorlissi swimming for Lawrence in lane four. Wild in lane two. Wang in lane six. Illidan. The boys side only 200 meters it, it wouldn't be that crazy in fourth is wild wild with an eat is going wild however Robin however however Steiner trying to keep it close and wild with an excellent turn and now it's getting close between it's getting close between Dun Dunphy and Dunphy it's getting close between Dunphy and Wang and Wang trying to get the lead over Dunphy. Wang is really trying to, you know, do good. They're so tightly matched. Wild is just dominating the race right now. And, he, and to catch up with Wang is... To catch up with Wang is Dunphy. Shin, however, is competing with him really well. Shin has a slight lead. Wild, however, just dominate. But I think everyone's looking at Wang and, and Shin. They're going. They're having a. Uh, they're having a pretty close battle. I'm just liking how they're equally matched. You know, some someone has momentum over the other one. It's so easy. I, I can't even tell who will get second. It really, this is a battle for second right now. And that turn by Wang gets a huge lead. But 
The catch up is Shin. And it Wang has a slight lead over Shin. Wang looking to get to second place. Shin slow to catch up. And Wild probably going to finish first. Unless someone can catch up. And Wang just absolutely dominated. He got really good momentum. Really did good turns. And he has the, a great lead. It was so tightly matched now. It looks like Wang will take second place for his team. Though Shin did a really good job competing. And I'm liking... I think that maybe they can win one of these. If well, someone's going to win, it's probably will, will be him, Shin. Shin. He got a good chance. And Wild takes first. Wang takes second. In third. In third is Eden. In fourth is Shin. In fifth. In fifth is Gorsley. And in sixth place, Dunphy. Excellent job by these boys today. Already. They're doing great. I'm liking how this... I'm, lo I'm loving how these matchups will continue. The next event is the girls 200 IM swimming for Steiner in lane five, Constantino. In lane three, Divine. In lane one, Bizzoni. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Simpson. In lane two, Byrne. In lane six, Lou. have been dominating this race. However, it looks like... Divine, however, getting the early lead over Simpson. And this is now becoming a, now, I think after a quick pep talk, now Steinhardt trying to get back into this ball game. So far, it's 24 to six. And the Cardinals are beating the, the boys' Cardinals 21-9, and the girls are absolutely killing 18 points. Divine, Hannah Divine really trying to, you know, trying to being a playmaker for her team. This is, I believe, this is her first time swimming, and I think they should put her on the starter list because she's doing absolutely great. She's going up against Simpson, who's also pretty well. And she has a fair lead over everyone right now. Simpson just can't keep up. But it's all right. It's hard to do them all. Simpson with a nice, calm, smooth turn. Simpson, however, really wanted to keep up. But it's hard for her to come up. And Byrne is just uh, probably thinking... Burn is there also, but well, well far ahead of, uh, he's well far of uh, the, the top two, but she's doing well too. And for the Steiner players, doing, they're doing well too, you know, he's full, but he, you know, trying to make some records here. And Divine looking to take that link, Constiano. Vizani, Vizani is just also keeping her pace. Though I'm liking how Divine is going. She's really, really playing good. Really has a good form, has good turns especially. Got some really great turns. And, and just really got a lot of momentum over Simpson. And now Simpson's well behind her. And it looks like, and Divine will take number one. This will be the the girls' first actual win in a race so far today. I think if they keep her in the start lineup, they'll be winning a lot more than that's just one. In first is Simpson, and it looks like maybe, maybe Constano. Oh, nope, Simpson gets number two. Simpson gets number two. In third, looks like that will be. In third? No, third will be Burns. Third is Burn. 
in six, in four. In fourth is Lau is Lau. You know, it's it's funny. The top the top swimmer for for a starter really won first. However, all the Lawrence guys came in second. Simpson though did an absolute fantastic job. I liked how she swam. She really was just more trying her best, but I guess Devine just took over the lead. And now it looks like this still make this game a lot, a lot more clutch and closer. A lot more clutcher, closer game than for this match. The next event is the boys 200 IM. Swimming four, Steiner in lane five, Oliver in lane three, Sun in lane one, Divine. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Morris in lane two, Seaburger in lane six, Kermish. Side of thing. A divine will be swimming in and already, wow. For the start, it looks like it's very well close. Looking very close for all these players. But I think it's gonna shift. But so far, I liked how the opening match, it was just very, very close and clutch. However, now the boys is gonna be the blowout. As Oliver, as Sun, just dominating now. But Robbinsville trying to also come back in second. In second is Seaburger. And now they're doing their back ones. They're doing a good job. They're doing absolutely good. Morris though, really dominating right now. I, I like I like how he's just going fast and has a great momentum over everyone. And as Seaburger, they're really dominating now. And, you know, and, and Steiner, you know, you know, hard, you know, it, it, they use all their energy for the first thing. I mean, that that's not good. Just get a fair lead, and then when they get tired, then you come back for Steiner. A more is so a strong lead for him. A great and strong lead for Morris. Good job for him. I, I, I like how he, he made this very quick, fast, and played fairly well. Morris to partake first. In second will be Seaburger. In third will be... In third will be Sun. From the looks of it now, Sun. Good, with a good turn. I'm liking how they're doing their turns. These turns can really help you get good momentum throughout the race. It can really have a good effect on you throughout overall. Throughout the whole entire meet. Morris though, taking a great lead and probably and most likely he's definitely gonna finish first. But not too far behind him is Seaburger in second. Son, no, no, no. Second and third is Divine. In second, Son. In fourth, Son. In sixth, Kerbisley. In sixth, in sixth, Oliver. So good job, absolute amazing job by these boys. I wonder how close these scores will be after. The next is the girls 53, Steiner in lane 5, Bedford, in lane 3, Casco, in lane 1, Swimming for Long, in 4, Moss, in lane 2, Via Stolen, lane 6, Slough. Now, 
gonna do a great job. Moss with a great lead. However, getting very, very tense over now. Although after the first turn, it's 50. You gotta put all, the, all your effort in. And taking the lead is Moss. But Robin Burr, Steinhardt, Pascal trying to get the lead, trying to come back, and Moss. Takes first, Moscone second, in third. In third is Oscoli. In third, in, in fourth. In fourth is Oscoli. In fifth. In fifth is, Bel is Bedford. The next event is the boys, 53, swimming for Steiner in lane 5, Bird in lane 3, Begetigan in lane 1, Thornton, swimming for Lawrence in lane 4, Zukach in lane 2, Dower in lane 6, O'Rourke. shot at this and Robbins and Steiner are trying to do a good job. Robbinsville did get destroyed by this team as did Hamilton West but Robin but Steiner trying to take the lead however Zukoc probably gonna get first however that race was so clutch I think McGettington probably got second, and let's see. First was Sukaj, second was Baring, third was O'Rook. So really well job done. I, I wonder what these scores are. Currently the scores are 33-13 and 33-19. And already Byrne is dominating, taking the early lead. However, anything could change for the Steinhardt. Only two people swimming. And Kroshkano Nix is, Kroshkano Nix is taking that one. We'll be there. And oh my, wow. Simpson, however, I don't know why she was put in second. I think she's normally the better one. So they put Simpson in second. And she's the one who's... Simpson's the one who... Oh, not Simpson. Anand. Anand. No, 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 Lily. Lily's the one who's taking the lead. Lily's the one who's dominating. Bur Burn is trying to, however, come up with... The, uh, trying to coming up. But An Anon trying to take the, the W. It might be Anon taking first. Anon, first place. Burn, second. And in third. In third will be Anon. No, Anand. Lily takes first. Anand takes the third. And a little, a little slow start for uh, Steiner, but I think they can come back up. In fifth is Vizon Vizani. No, no, it's Krajonix. Vizani is in sixth. And wow. What an utter blowout already. 44-18, both teams dominating. Same scores, 44-18. To Ben, to Drew Fly, Luke, in lane five, Oliver, in lane B, Margo, in lane one, Gip, swimming for Lauren, Poor Wild, in lane two, Young Pow, in lane six, Algaria. For the boy, 
series. This is 100, so you only got two chances. And wow, already clutch, clutch race this is already. Wild, it's attempting to go pretty wild on this. She has a slight lean, but Robin, but Steiner trying to come back up. There are two guys right behind Wild. Two guys right behind Wild. Let's see how that turn goes. And Wild obviously dominates the turn and really has a great momentum. Oliver now trying to, Oliver, now trying to come back. Oliver trying to win this. Oliver trying to get a slight, Oliver with a slight lead on Wild. However, takes a good lead. Oliver now trying to move, trying to come back. Oliver putting his way through Wild, however, has a lead. Oliver getting a lot of momentum. Oliver trying to take the first spot. I don't know who's gonna win. Is it Oliver or Wild? I don't know, that, that whole thing was just so close. Wild's got number one, but Oliver was so clutch, Oliver really dominating and getting the momentum back. However, in third. In third. In third. The next event is the girls 100 free swimming for Steiner in lane five, Bedford. In lane three, Cascone. In lane one, Brown. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Bus. In lane two, Pinocchio. In lane six, Goo. a good lead, Muss. Muss, however, trying to get the lead over Steiner. And Steiner probably, you know, really slow, but they gotta come back and win and try winning this. Can, Kazno, Kazno, Kazno really can't get too much momentum over Muss and, and Genichio. They're doing too hard. They're really having the lead. Dominating in the lead. And let's see how well this turn is. Must not really the best of the turns that was, but sometimes it's hard for you to do that. And Must trying to get the first. Casco trying to get the second, but she will not. Genichio second, third. Canal in fourth. Go. In fifth. In fifth is Bedford, is Brown, and in sixth, Bedford. Great job by these people today. And I'm also loving the sportsmanship that they got today. Have real good sportsmanship between everyone. That's what I like about this. The next event is the boys, 100 free. Swimming for Steiner in lane five, Connecticut. In lane three, Shin. In lane one, Ackerson. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Jorgensen. In lane two, Morris. Six, now the boys turn for free. Got two shots again. And I loved how close the last race was. I wonder though if I wonder, can Jorgensen maintain his lead though? Shin is going up also, and wow, I am liking how early things are going. Jorgensen though, gets a great lead over everyone. And let's see if Sardar can try getting second, however. However, Kurt Morris is making it quite difficult for them. Morris really doing a good job already and it looks like Jorgenstein 
Jorgensen is going to probably get first. But he has a great lead over everyone. It really got great momentum over everyone. And he's going to take the first. Moore is second. It's going to be a clutch battle for third. For third, it is Shin. Fifty-five twenty-three for the boys. Fifty-seven fifty twenty-one girls. Lawrence leads them both. The next event is the girls four hundred three swimming for Steiner in lane one. Abdul side in lane three. Wolf in lane five. Bradley swimming for Lawrence in lane four. Gordon in lane two. Lily. In lane six, Lou. Okay, this is five hundred meters. It's going to be very difficult for these. Girls trying to keep up. And Steiner got an early lead. Wolf gets the early lead right now. I'm surprised they're not putting Divine in for any more. Divine did really good. I liked how she played. Wolf dominating. Wolf probably. It's going to be hard for Wolf to try getting the lead and trying to get the dub. Wolf, though, taking her pace and just, you know, swimming well. For Lawrence, Thornton trying to come back, but really, Wolf is just dominating. Thornton really got to get some ground, got to you know get a good lead, get get some momentum. Also, not really get a good lead. A lot of laps you got to do in this one. Very hard. For 500 meters, insane. Insane on how many of these are. I'm not sure. How many of these people can do? Really testing their ability when they're going out there today. Because you're going to see how much and how how much and how low they can do. And how well their stamina can go. I mean, sure, there might be some guys that, can, that will probably get dead last in 500. But there could be guys... There could be swimmers that could go dead last in 500. But they could be right up first in, in 50. You know, so well, a lot of people, you know, it, it depends on how good your stamina is. Although in the 500, uh, 550 meters, it's really easy to get that early lead, you know. And still, Wolf with a dominating lead. Wolf about to get seven laps. As is, as Thornton also gets their seven laps. Really well job by both of these girls. I say they could definitely improve. I'll go also get some work done. And Thornton dominate a fashioning lead. However, in lanes. Four and five, they could be a different change there now. Thornton, though. Thornton trying to come back. Though, I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how exactly she did it, but Wolf just got a great lead over everyone. And probably going to get finished the fir in first place. I think it's 20 laps they have to do, though crazy amount of laps gonna put you a lot of pressure on you and put a lot of work on you 69 25 the girls for Lawrence lead however I think things can change I'm not sure how exactly they're gonna work things out in this but it look Thornton's definitely gonna get the a good lead over everyone Lawrence however doing well they're still trying to break any records that they could possibly break. Because if you lose, you can break a record, and that's all the recognition that you need. 
and on on her 13th lap is Thornton. Thornton, an absolute fantastic job for Thornton. I'll say Thornton doing amazing. Thirteen and eleven. Thorn about to finish. Try to get to fifteen now. Lao though. Lao. That's about seven, I think. Steiner. Steiner. Last lap for Steiner. Steiner about to get the W. Let's see if Lawrence can try coming back up. Gonna be tough, I'll say that. Gonna be real tough for both these players. And Thornton gets the win, gets the first place. In second will probably be Thornton. Wolf gets first, however. Wolf does a great job and finishes well for everyone. Wolf got the lead. Lau trying to make the make pace in for everyone else. Unable to tell though, it's gonna be hard to tell who will get second. Oh, and fourth, second is Thornton, as I said, second is Thornton, Thornton. And this is up and they had a good they did a great job. I will say that. They did an absolute fantastic finish for these gentlemen. For these ladies. Good job, Sarnart. No, getting the W. They should get more points. They should definitely get more points, though. Because the effort they put in, they're doing well. They... Lau. Not on her last yet. In third is Lawrence Lily. Getting her third place. And that sportsmanship coming back again. Lau gets sixth. Lau gets fourth. Oh no, Lily gets fourth. Lau gets third. Good job for her. Everyone's done a fantastic job though. They can't argue with that though. Swimming's difficult. And sometimes you all got strengths and weaknesses. Sometimes it's hard what your strength is and weakness. Still waiting to finish are the rest of the Steiner play. Problem is, the only one player is good for Steiner. Now everyone else not too good. That's why they don't get that many points. And that's why they're still going to be still far behind when this is over. Fantastic finish for Lord Steiner. Oh, both sad. Get comes in sixth. Absolute good job for both of these teams. Liking how they played. Loving how they played. They played great. Could have been better. Everyone, however, they could always... The next event is the boys' 400 free swimming for Steiner in game three, Margo, in lane five, Duffy, in lane one, L. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Sue Koch, in lane two, C. Berger, in lane six, O'Rourke. now and already a strong start from them. Sukoc gets a great lead but competing with him is Bargo. Bargo now trying to get uh, trying to beat him. Sukoc though got a good lead over Bargo. Bargo now probably trying to hold off. Trying to hold off Seaburger. Seaburger however does, does really well. And really, you gotta get some good ground on that 
turn because those turns could really affect you or not. Seaburger trying to get this into second place. And Sukot still dominating already. And dominant and as as he progresses, he slowly and slowly picks up more ground for Vargo. Vargo going up even further. Vargo's even getting up further. Now Vargo really wants to get that lead and take the dub. Sukach, no, probably not going to let him do that. They had a good attempt, but they had a good strong attempt for that, though. Sukach with a runaway lead. Really, these boys, these boys have done well. I will say that they've done fantastic. Could have done, they could have done better, they could have done great, but who knows? Who knows how well they, they were, do, who knows how well they could have done? No one knows how fantastic anyone is. No one knows how, how fairly well these guys can, these people can do. Everybody's got a strength, everybody's got a weakness. Some people got everything. Not easy doing this. Really need to if you if you don't have a good lead then it's hard to come back. Because as you can see Sukar just dominating. I'm not even sure that he's worried he's gonna lose because he got such a strong lead. I mean, what's he worried about? Sukar is dominating. At his ninth lap. They're doing great. I, I, you know, they're they're a good team. They're a great team. They're, they're one probably one of the best. Lawrence. They get CVC every year, whatever that is. Whatever that is, I know it's something strong and I know it's something positive. Though those 200 lap, 20 laps for each of these men. Not easy for everyone. Not easy at all. Sukoc. Dominating in the lead. Second, however, is Bargo. Felipe Bargo. Dunfree also going in this as well. Very familiar faces also doing very fairly well. Sukoc though. Again, again, Sukoc can can be better. Their race could have been well achieved. Though, it's hard sometimes. Sukhart is just good and so is Wild. He's also really wild. <laughs> and they're all doing really well, fairly well. Sukhart. Now, Sukhart on his last lap. Bargo. Bargo, I'm not sure about Bargo yet. Bargo may be coming there soon. Bargo probably has a decent chance though to get second place. See if Bargo, however, can come back in this. And Bargo, Bargo now, oh, Bargo, Bargo, Bargo. Bargo had a good chance to try coming back. But Bargo needs to really go, Bargo. Bargo trying to come back in this. Sukac, lowering down, Bargo. Oh, Bargo just comes up just short. Sukac gets a dub, but Bargo just short of the win. Wow, Sukac was absolutely dominating. I don't know how Sukac lost that lead. Bargo just came back. Oh, Bargo had a good chance though. Bargo though messed up on that turn. If that turn was well, Bargo could have won this whole thing. Oh, fairly well job done by these men. Seaburger gets the second spot. As he has done a great job for them today. In six, unknown yet. They're not putting up the score. I think they're having some difficulties with the scoreboard. Still coming though. Steiner still got to finish up their race. Yeah, got to break some records though. Always need to break those records. 69-25 for the boys. 67 to an unknown yet score. 
The next event is the girls 200 free relay. Sixty-seven twenty-seven for the girls. And coming in last, and coming in sixth. Is, oh wow, starter still gotta go. Starter still gotta finish up though. Try to break your own personal record. Hopefully you can do better though. Always root though, anyone can improve. Spartans, though, they did well. I must say. Sorry about that. Here we go. The next event is the girls' 200 free relay. Swimming for Steiner in lane five, the Zoni, Holly, Andrews, and Abelsad. In lane three, Wolf, Bedford, Cascone, and Devine. In lane one, Master Polo, Chibra, Chiapara, and Bird. Swimming for Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Diascoli, Goo, Slutsky, and Mus. In lane two, Cave Line, Blue, Pollock, and Thornton. In lane six, Dushka, Gutierrez, Devon and Little. About that Sarner got a fair strong lead. No, not really strong. It could be anyone's game right now. Anyone's anyone's chance. Anyone's chance right now. And anyone's chance right now. As in first is as for first is Wolf, Bradford, and Cascone. I believe Wolf is going first. Wolf did, however, win that one. And all right, whoa, now things are heat changing up as a Scully tries changing things here. And Goo is going in. Goo going in. Bedford going in as well. And, Bed and Goo with a strong, strong lead over Bedford. And Bedford. Bedford slow to get up. Bedford now needs to try hard and, and, and come back. I have seen a lot of momentum shifts though. I've seen definitely a lot of momentum shifts when I was doing this. And Oliver did a really good job for the boys. And well, they did a close job, close chance, close chance for these guys. And they're about to shift up the rolls already. Still to come. Andrew is Cascone and Slutsy. And wow, looking at what good Steinhardt is doing. Steinhardt, what a good job they're doing. Steinhardt got the comeback. Oh, Steinhardt just finishes in second. Lane three just finished second. Lane four, however, good job. Lane four. Steinhardt barely, you know, Steinhardt is barely losing them. I don't know why Lord, they're not giving them that many points. Steiner deserves a lot of points because they're coming up just short. They should really give the points to the first player. They get the most points, you know? It's easier for them and it's hard for everyone else. Hello. 
7832 for both of these teams. And Starner yet, yet had to finish up their races. Really well job done by these guys. By these by these swimmers. Now the boys turn. The next event is the Boys 200 Free Relay, swimming for Steiner in lane three, McGettigan, Oliver, Ackerson, Shin. In lane five, Dunphy, Moret, Schultz, and Berger. In lane one, Boench, El Sayed, Petroka, and Paul. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Dower, O'Rourke, Seaburger, and Wang. Lane two, Young Mao, Nab, Kirbishley, and Briggs. In lane six, Beth, Milkbar, Demott, and Tenapali. And already another 200 free per lane. See how well these guys do. And Steiner got an early lead. Let's see who changes though. This really gets changed. And Steiner and, and Donner really coming in clutch here. Really changing the momentum right now. Really want to see how that turn goes though. Oh, putting in new players. And oh, Rook now trying to get the lead now. Oh, Rook gonna get the lead. And Oliver, Oliver now trying to get the lead. Oliver really, he got a lot of momentum on the last time he got, Oliver trying to hold off lane, lane, lane two. Oliver really trying to do well. Oliver getting momentum, Oliver. Oliver slow to come though. And Seaburger took that Oliver slow, slowness, took it to an advantage. And now going up against Seaburger is Arkansas. Arkansas a little far behind from all of uh, from Seaburger. Seaburger really gonna give the Lawrence another W. Give Lawrence another win in this and get first in this. And Ian Wang, Wang doing a great job. Wang gonna finish things off here. And it looks like right now second place is Lawrence again in lane two. Which is O'Rook. And Wang getting the first place for Wang. Second is O'Rook. Third is Ork is Shin. Great job by these guys today. They really did put in a lot of effort today. In fourth is lane five. In s lane six, fifth. In first, in in lane for in lane one, get sixth place. The next event is the girls' 100 meter backstroke. Swimming for Steiner in lane five, Barsom in lane three, Wolf. In lane one, Andrews. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Simpson. In lane two, Pinocchio. In lane six, Shen. Turn and Wolf. Wolf, bad turn. And now Lawrence now has a slight lead. 
Although it's getting real clutch though, getting real, real, real close right there. And going up against her is Wolf. Going up against Wolf is Ganesh, is Simpson. Simpson and Wolf really going at it now. Well, after this turn, it's gonna be very hard to see who wins this. 90 to 34, 88 to 36 for the, the 88, 36 girls. And now, Wolf looking like to take a lead, however, however, Samson is just behind her. Wolf, Wolf trying to get number one. Wolf takes number one, number two. Simpson, number three, Ganicio, number four. Coming in four is Machete. Coming in fifth is Andrew, is Barson. And coming in sixth is Andrew. The next event is the boys 100 meter backstroke. Swimming for Steiner in lane three is Sun, in lane five Hill, in lane one El Sayed. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four Jorgensen, in lane two Zulk, in lane six Santino. Cheering is good, but it could also hurt you in some ways. No, I can't hurt you in any way. Jorgensen, though, doing a great job. Jorgensen with a fair blowout gets the lead. Sun, however, wants to try getting second. And it looks like he will. Second place for him. Third is lane six. Fourth is lane two. Fifth is lane is lane five. And for sixth is lane one. Really well jumped up by these guys. The next event is the girls 100 meter breaststroke. Swimming for Steiner in lane five, Constantino. In lane three, Divine. In lane one, Bradley. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Wu. In lane two, Paula. In lane six, Anon. try in getting another swim out and they're doing a fairly well job start out I'm not sure who has a lead really close however very close and, and now it looks like Lawrence has the lead as As Moss with 
with the lead. And Bedford also with another strong lead. Still going up. Still trying to get a strong attempt though. Is, is Costco. Really now Costco trying to take the lead over Moss. Let's see how the final lap is for both of them. And Casco trying to finish now over Moss. Casco, Casco trying to beat Moss. Casco and Moss, little far behind for Moss. Car Moss won't be able to catch up. And Casco will get the first place for Steiner. Moss, however, comes in second. And in third is, is Pollock. Anand and Anand and Divine trying to get, get number thing. And it looks like Divine will get fit. Fairly well job done by these guys though. And then six is Great luck. They did a great job though. A for effort. That's all that matters. The next event is the boys 100 meter breaststroke. So yeah. for Steiner in lane three, Lovato. Lane five, Divine. And lane one, Ackerson. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Wang. Excuse me, lane two, Briggs. And lane six, Dower. This will be one of the last, second and last one, and wow. What a strong, strong attempt by Briggs. And Briggs, he has the lead. Briggs with the lead now. However, trying to go with him is Wang. Wang now, Wang. Oh, Wang is actually getting fought. Wang is battling. Five. Divine. Divine is now trying to get the lead. Divine. What a job by Divine. Divine now. Really has to get that great turn and has to start getting the W. Divine. Divine now. Divine now going all the way. Divine now trying to get the win for his team. 101, 939 to the boys, but Divine now trying to get... Divine, fighting with Wang, Divine! Divine looking to get first, Divine! Comes and gets the first place! Wang in second, third is Briggs. Fourth in lane six is, is Daughter. Fit is... Fifth is Lamato and sixth is Arkenton. Really, that's the first time I've ever seen the fifth guy in lane five win. That's something you definitely don't see every day. The next event is the girls 400 free relay. Swimming for Steiner in lane five, Crash Kovics. Savino, Brown, and Barsa. And lane three, Wolf, Casco, Bedford, and Devine. In lane one, Shirapa, Farrell, Holly, and Shira. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four, Burn, Ginocchio, Simpson, and Bus. In lane two, Slutsky, Theosoli, Shetty, and Thornton. In lane six, Lou, Dushka, Little, and Namade. Take your mark. Now, now, going, going is 
for Steinhardt is they're getting the lead already. I, I mean, going for them now with the lead, however, is Wolf. Wolf getting a strong lead over Burn. Looks like it might have, to, and, and they're gonna have to. It's gonna be 400 laps in this. It's gonna be crazy how long this will take. I think though Lawrence will get the win though. They'll 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 get the sweep over Steiner. Really well job done by these guys today. They could have done better though. Steiner though, gonna do a great job in trying to get the W for them. As this is the last event for the girls. And Steiner really wanting to end it strong. Wolf going really Wolf doing really a really well job already. Wolf dominating Burn and Dominating Burn. Dominating Burn and Flutsky and Lau. Burn. Burn. Burn gets. Burn loses to. Loses to Wolf. She's gonna have to go in for another one. And going in for Wolf is. Going forward is Cascone. Cascone doing a good job. Well, Cascone now dominating Ganicio. Well, though, I'd like to see how Simpson goes because Simpson's a tough one. Simpson's not easy to go up against. And Cascone dominating Ganicio and has a fair lead over everyone. I'm not sure though, how well. Everything's gonna be for all of them. Might be hard, might be easy. A anything could change though, anything could change. It's quite possible. And though, even though it's a blowout, I, I, I do, there were a lot of close matchups, like where Lawrence barely won, you know? They barely win this. So it was a blowout, but it was a barely win. Like they barely won a couple of them. I, I think they did really well though. I think that they're, they have more positive more positive outlook for them. And Bedford doing a good job with the lead. So it looks like Starner though, even though they lost, I think they're gonna finish out pretty strong. They're gonna finish out really strong. It should count though on how many first places you have. Not really on the other ones. I mean, they are important. But those really determine if you get the win, because those are your best swimmers. You expect them to get number one. Bedford going off. And Bedford. It's a great finish for Bedford. Bedford, huge lead. And Bedford. Positive outlook, and now things just got clutch. And Simpson! Simpson is top! And Simpson gets the lead back for Lawrence. Bedford had a strong lead coming in. But now Bedford is gonna have to make things fair for him. Moss now going up against. Moss going up against Divine. And a Divine against Elizabeth. Isabella Moss, see how well this thing goes. And Adam and Divine trying to come back. Divine really needs to put up her A game. Divine needs to come back in this. Isabella Moss, Isabella Moss losing her lead. Losing her lead is Moss. Divine really needs to hurry up. Divine slowly coming up to Moss. Divine now trying to regain her lead. For Steiner, that is trying it up. It's so close right now. And Divine trying to come now and try winning this. Divine going up. Divine trying giving it all. Divine going down. Divine taking the lead. And Divine, Divine taking first place. Divine got first. Moss just fell off just short. Mon Divine. Anna Devon came back from the behind and took the W for their Steinhardt and got the number one in this relay. What a fantastic finish for them. Even though they didn't win though, it was still a very good race. I love the close matchups that they had in the sportsmanship 
Oh, he's getting good. Still to finish, however, is... Still to finish is... Cheer up. And one more for Lawrence. Lau. Lau is yet to finish up for Lawrence. <coughs> Lau. Trying to finish it up now. Lau. Chera now, last for her. Absolute great job for these girls today. Loved how tight and close everything was. Definitely was tight and close, and the boys now trying to finish it up. Shara trying to finish this one for her team. Shara trying to finish it up. Shara. Shara. Going up close. And Shara. Going to finish up. <coughs> <coughs> Shara coming in sixth. And that'll do it for the girls. Today's final event is the boys 400 meter freestyle relay. Swimming for Steiner in lane three, Margo, Kaluma, Dunphy, and Sun. In lane five, Arlissi, Burr, Marazzo, and Hill. In lane one, Mowinch, Zukowski and Melanick. No Melanicki. Swimming for Lawrence in lane four. Wang, Wallace, Sukach, and Jorgensen. In lane two, Illinin, Youngbao, Wild, and Seaburger. In lane six, Boris, Oldemar, Kenakali, and boys now and a really fantastic finish for the girls really fantastic I loved it anyways Wang Wang getting a good lead tight 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 though and now trying to get regain Wang's lead is Bargo Bargo now with the lead Bargo Bargo doing a great job Bargo, Bargo now going up, Bargo, Bargo, Bargo now just dominating over Ian, Wang, like it now Felipe Bargo's playing, getting a good strong lead and Wang now trying to get some momentum, a little too hard for him to come back in this though, very too hard for her to come back in this, Wang, Wang now, trying to finish this up. And Wang, with a slide, not fast enough though. And in for Bargo is Colinia. And going up against him is Morris. And what a strong attempt this is for them. Coming in soon is Dunty, Dunfrey. Dunty. And Dunty now going up. Now let's see how well this final clash will go. It's gonna look really good. I know it'll look pretty good. And Dunty. And then might one more almost. And a fairly well job though. And did a fairly, fairly well job. And now a lead, wild, this walk going wild and crazy. Wild with a strong lead over Dunkey. However, anything could change. Anything could change. Wild is going wild. Wild is really, you know, to know how to get a strong lead. Wild. Dunkey. 
And can finish over Wild. And Wild is about to get it done here. And Lawrence Boys will take get the double move for sure. But going up now is finally going up. Sorry, Skukash is the crazy one. Jorgenstein going up against Milenki. And Milenki probably going to get the win. Milenki not going to get the win. They did a great job. Looking how well the boys played. Looking how well the girls played. They did a fantastic job today. I'm liking how fast and paced everything was today. It was really good. A really great finish for these players, these swimmers. Really well job done by these guys. And in number one will soon be. And number one will be <clears throat> Jorgensen's team. And Jorgensen's team gets the W. Really well job by these players today, these swimmers. Jorgensen takes number one. Number two is Seaburger. Number three. Number three is in lane three. Is in lane three. Very well job done by Elenki. Coming up to finish now is Tenapalu. Sorry, Son finished up by Melanchi now. Trying to finish now. Like in the way how they're hyping everyone up, it's really good. Melanchi. Melanchi gonna come in six. And what a fair job that these players did today. Great job by these players. Loving it. Ayo. And, and now, a great job by Malenki. And that'll do it for the swimming meets. I believe Lawrence wins them both. Still waiting on the final scores. This concludes today's meet. Thank you very much for attending. Have a safe ride home. And that concludes the swimming meet for girls and boys varsity. It was a really good game. Lawrence got the W's twice. However, in some of the meets, in some of the races, it was really close. Really close. And you know, Lawrence barely won some of them. Sometimes even Steinart won one of them. But it, I think uh, Lawrence did obviously, obviously destroy. They really had a, uh, they had a good momentum, good, good turns, a uh, good accuracy also. And they did a fairly well job maintaining their leads. However, Steinart did close on a pretty good note. And we wish the best of luck, uh, best of luck to them. And the Lawrence boys continue on their three and zero at home. And the girls are 2-1 and one at home, and hopefully we wish the best of Steiner, Steiner and in their futures. And thank you for watching LTBS TV. I'm Sport Tire, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out.